Well, tomorrow, Hawaiian Electric is expected to release its energy plan to show how residential solar power will connect the grid in the future. Many installers and residents have been waiting in limbo for that plan, so much so the number of PV permits issued has dropped in half. KITV Force Paul Drews takes us to a demonstration in support of solar. It's all new tonight at 10. With songs and signs, these demonstrators gathered for a candlelight vigil. Many even stopped by to sign a get well card because they're worried about the health of Hawaii's solar industry. We've got our solar panel on life support over here. Uh, solar's really been struggling. HECO has maybe hindered the uh, installations to the point where uh, the industry is no longer flourishing as it once was. So yeah, it's kind of sick. Hawaii's solar industry used to be scorching hot, but then HECO, citing safety concerns, tightened up regulations over where new solar panel installations could take place. An additional red tape has forced some once prosperous companies into the red. We've had to lay off, you know, over a dozen people since they impose these kind of regulations. So these are guys with families, you know, they're trying to support, and because they can't earn a living in solar, they're now on unemployment. Solar has been one of the most organic, natural success stories of clean energy, and we want to support what's succeeding. Uh, solar represents the best use of our local indigenous resources and uh, it's just common sense you know we need Hawaii needs solar we need a solar success story four months ago the state public utilities commission came out with rules requiring Hawaiian electric companies to accommodate greater amounts of renewable energy a day before the deadline HECO released this statement saying we continue to work closely with Hawaii's solar industry to ensure we can deliver solar power safely and reliably for all of our customers we look forward to filing our plans tomorrow that outline specific actions for adding significantly more solar. But Eva Beach resident Will Walker remains skeptical. He had solar panels installed on his roof last October and was told HECO was looking into hooking them to the grid. But they remain unconnected, even now, eight months later. I really don't have any faith in HECO anymore um, as far as them doing the right thing on their own. I think it's, it's, it's going to take the people pushing them in the right direction. It's going to take the legislature pushing them in the right direction. Uh, and it's going to take the PUC pushing them in the right direction. This group also hopes that HECO gets the message through this demonstration of just how important solar is to many in Hawaii. And along with calling for easier and cheaper connections for people putting in solar panels, the demonstrators are also calling for more transparency over Hawaii's entire energy grid. That way, residents can verify if something is or isn't needed and if it really is in the best interest of all of us. Yanchi?